greetings from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce in Washington, D.C. to all our friends and business partners in Nur Sultan, as well as those coming virtually today. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce is home to the U.S. Kazakhstan Business Council, chaired by Shafa. I would like to send sincere regards and best wishes from the U.S. Chamber's President and CEO, Suzanne Clark, and thank Prime Minister Aska Mayen and Deputy Prime Minister, Foreign Minister of Kazakhstan, Mukta Tilurari. I would also like to thank the Kazakh Investment Chairman, uh, Yusupov, for convening today's forum. Congratulations to all of you on the 30th anniversary of Kazakhstan's independence. The global pandemic has created an unprecedented economic and health crisis for the world. While the rapid development and deployment of vaccines worldwide offers hope for a robust economic recovery in the United States and abroad, the pandemic has highlighted the need for strong U.S. leadership in the international state to reinvigorate growth, strengthen trade, and build resilient supply chains to support a global recovery. Joining hands with our allies and partners like Kazakhstan is critical in building a better and more inclusive future, creating healthier, more sustainable communities, supporting entrepreneurship, and expanding access to innovative technologies. In this regard, the U.S. Chamber applauds Kazakhstan's commercial diplomacy to facilitate trade through its leadership at World Trade Organization as co-host of the recent WTO ministerial in Geneva. Bilaterally, U.S. companies constitute the largest investor base in Kazakhstan, and we are encouraged to see more U.S. companies in interested in doing business in Kazakhstan and utilizing Kazakhstan as a regional hub for Central Asia. U.S. companies actively involved in diversifying Kazakhstan's economy especially in strategic sectors such as agribusiness, logistics, financial services, as well as continued leadership in energy. Trade between the United States and Kazakhstan stands at approximately $2 billion per year, with ample room for growth in these sectors. Kazakhstan's role within the U.S. Central Asia C5 plus 1 dialogue and investment partnership with the U.S. International Development Finance Corporation are important anchors in U.S. Kazakhstan commercial cooperation. Kazakhstan's Minister for Trade and National Integration, Sultanov, recently visited Washington with a multilateral and bilateral trade agenda. The U.S. Chamber's U.S. Kazakhstan Business Council to advance our ties. I also know that we have a very vibrant American Chamber of Commerce in Kazakhstan, which plays an active role in supporting more than 700 American companies operating in Kazakhstan. U.S. businesses note Kazakhstan's progress enhancing its business climate, noted by World Bank rankings, and are actively involved in future reforms in dialogue with Kazakhstan officials. Opportunities for continued reforms, such as adopting international and industry standards, Changes to environmental regulations, transparency, and sanctity of contracts will grow the investment landscape in partnership with U.S. companies to support further diversification of Kazakhstan's economy. While growing the local economy, it is important to do so in a competitive manner, building upon global supply value chains to create more export opportunities for Kazakh firms. Restrictive localization or import substitution policies complicate continued trade and investment. Therefore, the U.S. Chamber and our U.S. Kazakhstan Business Council will continue to our advocacy for permanent, normal trade relations (PNTR) status with Kazakhstan to open further opportunities for collaboration in strategic sectors and two-way trade. In closing, I would like to reiterate the U.S. Chamber's commitment to your country and to your people to continue bilateral trade, supporting your recovery from COVID and our commitment to the next 30 years of U.S. Kazakh relations. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce would like to thank everyone again on behalf of our U.S. Kazakhstan Business Council for participating in today's discussion hosted by Kazakh Invest. 
We've issued success on the rest of the program and post-COVID. We plan to lead a U.S. business mission to Kazakhstan to meet with you in person. Thank you.